Hey there, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to Learning English Podcast, the podcast where we dive into the fascinating world of languages and how we can master them in our everyday lives. I'm Larry, your host, and I'm thrilled to have you here with us today. Now, I want to kick off today's episode with a little story. Picture this. It's a bright, sunny morning, and there's a gentle breeze in the air. You're sitting at your favorite cafe, sipping on a steaming cup of coffee, and you overhear a conversation at the next table. It's in a language you've been trying to learn, and guess what? You understand every single word they're saying. That feeling of accomplishment, my friends, is unbeatable. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. The power of daily habits in language learning. We're going to explore how small everyday practices can make a huge difference in your language learning journey. So whether you're learning English, Spanish, French, Mandarin, or even Klingon, this episode is going to give you some practical tips to make that journey smoother and more enjoyable. Okay, let's dive in. Habits are like things you do automatically, like brushing your teeth or having your morning coffee. Imagine if learning a language could be like that. It's not magic but it's pretty amazing for your brain. We're building habits to make learning a language feel natural. It's like working out a muscle. The more you do it, the stronger it gets. We're not just memorizing stuff. We're training our brains to talk in a new way. Habits have three parts. A cue. What starts the habit? The routine the habit itself, and the reward, feeling awesome afterward. Like setting an early alarm cue, spending a few minutes practicing your language, routine, and feeling like a rock star. Reward. Habits are important because languages are tricky and you need practice every day. It's like a marathon, not a sprint. Now. Let's talk about some easy habits to boost your language skills. First up, podcasts. Just like this one, listening to a language podcast is like having a lesson on the go. You can do it while commuting, cooking, or working out. Next, flashcards. They might seem old-fashioned, but they're great for learning new words. Spend a few minutes each day flipping through them. Reading is cool too. Whether it's a novel, a newspaper, or social media, reading exposes you to new words and sentences. And writing. It could be a short journal entry, a note to a friend, or captions for social media. Writing helps you remember and talk better in the new language. You don't need lots of time, just 10, 15 minutes here and there. Now, let's talk about some challenges and how to beat them. Don't go away. We've got awesome tips coming up. All right, sometimes sticking to habits can be tough, right? Especially with time, motivation, and hitting a plateau. For time, Link language habits with things you already do. Love music in the morning. Switch to songs in the language you're learning. Motivation can be tricky, but remember why you started. Celebrate small wins, like learning a few new words. When you hit a plateau, mix things up. Try new methods and keep it fresh. Be kind to yourself on tough days. You'll get there. 
Coming up, I'll share cool tools and resources for your language journey. Time for some cool tools and resources to make learning even more fun. Language apps like Duolingo or Babbel are like games. They're great for quick lessons wherever you are. Books are awesome too. Combine language learning books with your daily habits for structured learning. The internet has tons of resources. Websites like mention a couple of specific websites and YouTube have grammar lessons and more. Language exchange platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers. It's a win. Win. Find what works for you. Mix and match tools. If you find something cool, share it with us. We'd love to know. Coming up, a quick recap and some final thoughts. All right. We covered a lot today. Daily habits are about making language learning part of your daily life. Whether it's podcasts, flashcards, reading, or writing, every bit counts. When things get tough, remember why you started. Mix it up and be kind to yourself. Learning a new language is awesome. It opens up a whole new world. Keep going, stay curious, and celebrate every small step. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this, subscribe and leave a review. Stay tuned for our next episode. Keep practicing, stay motivated, and let's keep talking. Goodbye for now, and happy language learning.